Thank you so much for staying with us. Now it is Palm Sunday and of course various faithfuls were advised to follow the Palm Sunday service on various local stations and we are doing a spot check on, from different parts of the country and we now want to link up with our reporter Tobias Chanji who is coming to us live from Mombasa County. Good afternoon to Chanji, great to see you. Talk to us about how the faithfuls there observed this day, bearing in mind they cannot go to church. Chanji. A very good afternoon, Grace. We are at the Holy Ghost Cathedral uh, in Mombasa. On a normal Sunday, uh, the church usually attracts more than six masses. But now, second week in a row, the church has remained empty, as you can see. I remember that during such a time on Palm Sunday, we usually have fanfare and some procession that usually take place. But now, let me just uh, speak to some of the fathers of this church. Uh, we have Father John Correa and also Father Raphael Kenga will just share with us the experience that they have had over this Sunday. Yeah, it is an, ex it is an extraordinary Sunday uh, lacking the congregation. So it is extremely different from the past years. And I think people will remember what has happened during this time. What have you done today to make sure that maybe some of your congregants get the message? Yeah, now there was a televised mass uh, at 8 a.m. and uh, by one of our priests, and uh, our bishop, our bishop Martin Kivuva, led the mass at 10:30, for in order that our Christians may follow that. And besides that. I think they had the mass from uh, the Holy Family Basilica in Nairobi. Yeah. Thank you, Arul. That's Father John Correa. Let's now speak to Father Raphael Kenga to also just share experience because I understand you're in charge of communications for this church. Yes, uh, my name is Father Raphael Kanga, in charge of uh, our Akdausan uh, Communications Office. Today, um, as you can see and as Father has said, uh, shared already, um, we feel it that we are used to be to celebrate mass in a full church and um, we can't do that. So what we have done as a communications office, we have planned for some online transmission of mass. We have been doing it, we will continue to do it, where we engage a simple priest and uh, one lay person, only two people. And we transmit that and welcome and invite our people to participate just like they are participating in a normal mass. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, well, those are two fathers from the Holy uh, Ghost Cathedral here in Mombasa are uh, just giving us the experience. And as we've heard, they've said that they've been following the mass uh, through the television and also uh, online. Back to in studio. Thank you, Chanji, for that. Just speaking to faithfuls from Mombasa regarding how they are observing this day being Pam Sunday.